Hey guys, this is Leah from Shadow Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you how to restore your volume icon if it's gone. So this tutorial will be in three methods, and one of them should normally restore it. So first of all, before showing you any of the three methods, you want to go in the little arrow right there and look for the hidden icons. As you can see, mine is not in there. So if it's not, let's start with the first method. Click on Customize. And then in there you can see all your icons and look for the volume icon. Make sure that you choose show icon and notifications. Then you're going to click OK and check if the volume icon is still gone. As you can see mine is still gone. So in this case I'm going to show you the second method. You're going to open the task manager by either pressing Control shift escape or right clicking on the taskbar and clicking on the task manager. Make sure you're in the Processes tab, and then scroll down, and if you're in Windows 8, you're going to look for Windows Explorer, and if you're in Windows Vista or Windows 7, you're going to look for Explorer.exe. In case you're in Windows 7 or Vista, you're going to click End Task. If you're in Windows 8, just click Restart. Now, as you can see, in Windows 8, it restarts automatically, but if you're in Windows 7 or Vista, you're going to have to open it back manually. So go to File, New Task, type in Explorer.exe, and click OK, and it's going to open up again. Now, as you can see, my volume icon is back, but if yours is still gone, I'm going to show you a third method to restore it. So close the Task Manager, and then type in Windows R to open up the Run command. And then you're going to open up the Registry Editor by typing Reject it. Then press enter, click yes, and you're in the registry editor. So you're going to go to H key current user, then software, then classes, then local settings, then software, Microsoft, Windows, current version, and go to tray notify. Then you're going to select both icon streams and past icon streams by pressing control and clicking on both of them. And then you're going to right click and choose delete. Once you've deleted them, close the registry editor and then go back to your task manager and do the same step that we've already done. You're going to scroll down, restart Windows Explorer. If you're in Windows 7 or Vista, don't forget to open it back up by typing explorer.exe and pressing enter. So there you go guys, one of these three methods should have restored your volume icon. If not, uh, I'm afraid I can't help you anymore, but if really you can't find a solution, just comment and I'll try to help you the best as I can. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye!